Hello, welcome to day four of the Equestrian Reset. I hope you've been enjoying doing these as much as I've been enjoying putting them on for you. Um, today we are going to go um, keep working on similar themes of mobilisation and then a little bit of core, a little bit of strengthening to help us get a little bit more stable in the saddle and feel more mobile around the yard. So let's get cracking. We're just going to start sitting down. Um, again, you don't need any props for today. If you have got a mat, that is great. Um, if you don't, um, don't, don't worry, just use your carpet. Okay, so we're just going to start some little half moons. And we're going to take our, um, we're going to look over towards the left. And we're just going to slowly start to circle down. Chin goes towards the chest. And then we start to rise back up, looking over to the right. And then we drop our chin again and we go back around to the left. So again, of all of these practices, we want to start with a nice big inhale through our nose and an exhale out through our mouth. And then for the rest of the session, you can breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. These are nice, slow, steady movements. Nothing too fast. So we're lower moving our neck, we want to stay nice and straight for our spine. Sitting up nice and tall, heart going forward, shoulder blades down and away from your ears. Deeper. And then we're going to bring our head back to the centre point and we're just going to do some looking to the left and looking to the right. So just slowly take your gaze to the left. And then all the way back around to the right. And then when we're back to centre, we're just going to do a little twist to the right. So our left hand is going to go onto our right knee. We're going to stay nice and straight up through that spine. Our left hand goes to the knee. And then we're going to start to walk our fingertips of our right hand out behind us. I want you to keep sitting nice and equal on your seat bones. I don't want you to collapse through one side. And then we keep the straightness through the spine. And we just twist and just go as far as what's comfortable for you. Super, and then we'll go back to centre. When we're at the centre, we're just going to fold forward. So let your fingertips go in front of you, walk forward, and just fold on down. Good, start to walk your fingertips back towards you. And then we'll just straighten our right leg. Put your left uh, foot towards your thigh, and we're just going to fold over our right leg. Yes, this is a really good one for um, stretching that hamstring, which is great for getting a long leg, low heel whilst in the saddle. So we don't want to have tight hamstrings as a rider, as it will restrict our ability to keep our heels down, and we know how important that is if we do not want to fall off. And now just taking your left hand, you're going to circle it around and place it slightly behind you. Press for your left hand and your right foot. And then reach that right hand up and over, pressing up with those hips. And then slowly start to lower back down, right? We're just going to repeat that sequence on the other side. So you're going to change the cross of your legs. So if your left foot was in front before, you're going to go and cross your legs in a more unusual way, which does feel a little bit weird if you're not used to doing it. So we're going to start with just our twist to the left. So our right hand is going to go on our left knee and our left hand is going to go out behind us. Remember, keeping a nice straight spine, seeing equal through both seat bones. We just twist around to the left. This is really good for opening up that upper body, really good for turns and circles whilst on the horse. Good, remember to keep breathing whilst you're in this position. Don't just twist as far as you can go and hold and start breathing. So keep inhaling and exhaling as you go. Up 
and then we'll start to come back to center and we're just going to fold forward so it might feel a little bit different this time because you have a different leg in front just try and press those seat bones into the ground press those armpits down towards the ground and just relax into it Slowly start to come back up and we're going to straighten our left leg. Our right um, foot is going to go towards the inner part of our thigh. So you're going to take a nice big inhale to lengthen and then an exhale to fold. Now your hamstrings don't need, sorry, your legs don't need to be straight in this position if you're finding it a bit too difficult. Keep a slight bend through the knee. and then circle that right arm up and over out behind you pressing up and bringing that left palm up and overhead really press those hips up towards the sky super and then we're just going to circle back down we're going to meet in our tabletop pose so our hands go beneath our shoulders and our knees go below our hips and um, so you're getting a nice flat back in this tabletop pose. This is our nice sturdy, sturdy pose um, because we're going to start doing some little hip circles. So tuck that belly button back towards your spine. So you're going to take your right knee, lift it up so it's off the mat, take it out so it's at a 90 degree angle to the floor and then start to do some hip circles. Yeah, so you can just go around to the right. We're going to swap directions so it doesn't matter which way you're going. It's really good for loosening up those hips. Just watch you don't collapse for your left side and then swap direction. And then relax it back down and we'll repeat that on the other side. So lifting up and then outside of that left hip and then start circling. Just make sure you've got equal weight going throughout the whole of your hands, not just going down for your wrist. We want to protect our wrist. Keep that belly button tucked in. And then we relax that knee down. Just press back with your hips and to rest onto your heels. And then your palms can go out in front of you for a little child pose. Forehead can rest onto the mat. And then we take a nice big inhale. I'm going to reach up and stretch our arms up to the sky. And then we're going to exhale and meet back into our tabletop pose. We're going to do a little balancing table now. So staying strong through that core. Your back is nice and flat. Shoulder blades are down and away from your ears. We're going to lift up with our right arm. So that might be enough for you to balance in. If you want to make this a little bit more difficult, you can stretch back with your left leg. Roll and rotate that hip down so we're not twisting out to the side. That's it, and we just hold here. That's good. Try not to collapse through that lower back, really checking through that belly button. and then relax back down. We're gonna inhale, we're gonna drop the belly, lift the gaze, tailbone goes up, and on the exhale, round and contract, chin to chest. So just do a couple rounds of cat and cow. That's the inhale, and exhale. Super. And then meet back in your tabletop pose, Firm up that core, lifting up through that left arm. Palm stays down towards the ground, and if you want to, lift up with your right leg. Roll and rotate that hip down so we're not twisting to the outside. Strong through that core.
That's it, you're doing really good. We're not here for too much longer. And then relax back down. Super. We're going to roll over now slowly onto our backs. We're just going to finish off with a few little um, yoga bicycles. So just working on our core. So slowly with control, roll down onto your back. That's it. And we're going to make sure our, there is no gap between the mat and our lower back. So really tuck that tailbone underneath and press that lower back into the ground. So we're going to lift up with those shins and we're going to hover them at a 90 degree angle to the ground. As you have done that, make sure your knees are aligned above your hips. Super. And we want to check that our back hasn't come off the ground. So we are going to interlace our fingers behind our head. We are going to inhale and we're going to curl our head and our shoulders up off the ground. And then we're going to look up towards the sky as we do this. Keep your elbows nice and wide. And on the exhale, we're going to twist to the right, keeping those shoulder blades up off the ground. And we're going to extend our left leg nice and straight. Inhale, we're going to come back to center. We're going to squeeze and lift that tailbone up towards the sky. And then exhale, we're going to twist to the left, extending that right leg. Inhale, back to center, squeeze and lift. Exhale to the right. Inhale, back to center, squeeze and lift. Exhale to the left. Once more each side. And then slowly start to lower back down. Super. Let's put our heels underneath our knees. Then we're going to slowly press up vertebrae by vertebrae up off the ground. Palms up towards the sky. A little rub of our belly. That is us for today. So slowly relax back down. Start to take a seat back up onto the mat. Well done. That is day four complete. So we've got one more day this week. So if you come back tomorrow, we'll finish off this session and we can start again next week. Thank you for joining me today. If you've liked it, please like, comment below, subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.